Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. So today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own arena map. Now, so what we have here, um, I did not make this map. This is actually um, Alpha Valley. I was able to transfer some files, do some magic, and I'm able to look at what is inside it. And yeah, so, yep, this is Alpha Valley. And so pretty much I'm going to be using this to demonstrate what are the necessary parts that you need when creating a arena map. So I didn't really feel like making my own, so I'm just going to use this as a demonstration. So obviously when you start your arena map, um, this one is a small arena map. It's probably probably preferred um, because you know the way it works obviously is the, the ring closes in from the sides and the people have to kill each other till there's one left and then he or she wins so pretty much that's how you win so if it's a large map like a medium or a large map it's actually going to take quite a long time between rounds because uh, these border areas will take a long time to get to the center so um, let's start with the safe zone so for Alpha Valley the safe zone is actually over here way in the corner and pretty much the only thing that differentiates the safe zone between anything else if we go to environment and nodes so the safe zone is a specific type of node it's a safe zone node it's actually got its own type and so pretty much um, when making an arena map I would only have one safe zone in the entire map um, just because well pretty much the way a safe zone works is what it does is anybody inside the safe zone cannot do anything in their inventory they can't take out items uh, punch do anything like that they can look inside their inventory and arrange it I think and they can't take any damage so pretty much anybody in a safe zone is safe so the way this is set up uh, there's actually two different types of spawns player spawns and we'll get into that right now so there's a normal player spawn um, when you're in level and you go to players the first one that is available here is this white player spawn okay now if you press alt this sort of uh, is the second type of player spawn now the difference between these two is that these black uh, player spawns are player spawns that people spawn in once the game is started now I'm not sure exactly what controls it, but as long as you have these different pieces, you know, it'll it'll work. So we've got the black player spawns, we got the white player spawns. So the white player spawns are where the people will spawn in while a match is running or once they've been killed inside of a match. And as you can see, there's just a crap ton in here. Um, it whenever somebody has a chance to spawn during a match or after they've been killed, it'll just pick a random one of these. And so pretty much Nelson's just set them up inside this house and it's not even really well designed the house is like off the ground and stuff pretty much you just need an area that they can't escape from that is completely encompassed by a safe zone because if it's not encompassed by a safe zone um, as the barrier closes towards the center which are all generally in that area the people will get hurt if they're not inside a safe zone so really the safe zone doesn't really have anything to do with where they spawn but it is necessary to keep them from dying once the radius closes in otherwise you're just gonna die over and over and over again so yeah that's the difference between those two spawns so as you can see here we've got the black player spawns and they are just around the map pretty much wherever you want the people to be fighting around and they are centered all towards you know the big the center of this town they're all sort of rotated in that direction and you know it sort of gives the map the or the people playing the map an idea that they all pretty much need to be heading in this direction which they really kind of do uh, ignore that that is a name node it's not really important it just shows the name on the map so um, pretty much the one other thing that you need for an arena map to really just at least make the mechanics work is see these huge uh, these huge um, nodes and they are not safe zone they are not purchase they are arena nodes so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making these smaller because as you can see they're freaking huge and it might be a little here 
got to select them first. It might be a little confusing to you guys, you know, like where they're actually facing. So I'm just going to be selecting them, making them a lot smaller. As you can tell, there's a crap ton, and a lot of them are really large. So I'm actually just going to make them as small as they can be. And once you do this, you can actually sort of tell exactly where the game might end up if that certain uh, arena radius is chosen. So as you guys can see, there's multiples of these, and they are pretty spread apart. And so pretty much as the game uh, runs, it'll choose randomly one of these lo uh, one of these locations, and only one of those will be active at a time. So having multiple arena nodes is not going to be a problem. It'll just pick one of them, and it'll stick with that, and that will be where the white boundary of death focuses in on. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, as you also saw, they were starting pretty much just outside of the playable area. Again, it doesn't really matter if, you know, it's covering the safe zone, because they're in a safe zone, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, those are the, the two major parts that you really need to at least get the mechanics working. You need the safe zone with the different types of spawns, and you need these arena nodes. So, besides that, um, I'm, I turned a lot of stuff off in visibility. I'm going to turn it back on. So, Nelson, when he was creating this, he actually did a pretty good job of decorating. Obviously, there's no zombie uh, nodes or um, navigation. I don't think there's any animals. I don't think I remember seeing any animals, and I don't see any nodes for them. But he did place vehicle nodes to make it a little more interesting and a crap ton of item nodes. Now I'm not, not going to go through you know, what he placed down, but all you really need to know is you need to provide the people something to fight with. And the vehicle nodes, they're all quads um, just because they're small and maneuverable. That pretty much will just help people escape to the inside of the wall of death as it closes in or to run people over just you know pretty much to lighten up the gameplay and also as you guys can see all the item spawns are within this main area that's actually kind of an important strategy actually there are a couple you know like over here I, I haven't checked them out I don't really want to look into this map too much so that it'll be unfair if I play it you know but Pretty much you want the item spawns to be around the player spawns. You want them to be pretty close because the players are not going to be spawning with anything. And you're going to want them to be able to have some sort of good fight, you know, once once they start picking each other off. So I would con keep it consistent. If you're going to put OP weapons out there, it won't make it as fun because as soon as somebody gets it, you know, it'll be pretty much over for the rest of the players. So I'd try to keep it balanced. You know, you could make it with, like, rocket launchers and shadow stalkers for everybody. That would just be a different type of gameplay. Or you could make it mostly melee weapons. But as long as you keep it consistent, I think you'll you'll keep the gameplay the most enjoyable and, you know, the most consistent for everybody. So besides that, I mean, the rest of it comes down to designing your map. And pretty much how your map is going to be designed is going to be based on your personal preference. So obviously Alpha Valley was supposed to be you know, a small town in the middle of nowhere, really, with forests surrounding it. Obviously, you could do whatever you want. You could make like a water map where they're walking on platforms over water. You could do a desert map. You could do a Grand Canyon map. I mean, who knows? Just be creative with the map making part. Um... You know, in terms of detail, I actually kind of like that I was able to sort of hijack this map because I can see, you know, how much detail Nelson put into it. And he actually puts in a decent amount of detail. So I'm sort of going to use this as a guideline for my own maps as well. And as you can see, he doesn't add too much detail. So this is just an arena map. So as you can see, there's not really much in this main house area. There's just a bed, you know, a couple laundry machines and just a table and chairs. So with the arena maps, you don't actually need as much detail compared to a survival map. A survival map, you actually need a lot more because the players will be in these areas and will be able to study and sort of get used to your style of decoration a little more. So I guess that is something else to consider. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So you know, I'll just go quickly over what you need for this type of map. You need um, the two types of player spawns. 
uh, the white player spawn is where they'll spawn initially or once they're killed during the middle of the game the alternate spawn I think that's what it's called is the black one that's where they'll spawn once the round begins um, besides that, you really just need two types of nodes. You need the arena node, and that pretty much designates where that white circle will begin and where it'll eventually focus into. And then you also need a safe zone. And that'll pretty much, you're going to want to surround all of the mid-game spawns or fresh player spawns with this safe zone so they don't die constantly, you know, after that, uh, the arena node gets past them so yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys learned something about this um, I've actually I just pretty much just looked at this to learn how to make an arena map so hopefully you guys can now make your own um, please like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see some more and I will see you all later